Look, the caffeine brought beer and popcorn for everyone. How generous of them. Also, hello everyone and good evening. I'll probably start the stream in another five minutes or so. Give time for all the alerts to trickle out. I'm uh, gonna be doing Beyond Chaos again tonight, obviously. That's what the title says. I was debating about doing a free enterprise run, but I just don't like the seeds. I, or not the seeds, but I don't like the flags. For this week's race enough to actually care. And I found a whole bunch of really interesting, like, secret code flags that you can enable on the Beyond Chaos Discord. So, uh, prepare yourselves. Aren't you guys tired of GTA 5 yet? You've been playing it for like three or four months now. When's the last time any of you have stuck with a game that long?
There'll probably be a Sea of Pirates, or what is it, Sea of Thieves? Yeah, Sea of Thieves binge before Arma again. And I haven't even really heard anything good about that game. Since the first week, roughly. Okay, let's see. Let me shut this off. This run is going to be a lot more difficult than the earlier, than the first run, than yesterday's run. I'm more exhausted for one, I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted because I ended up streaming for five hours longer than I intended to. Um, same flags as before, however there's a lot of secret options turned on and, and enabled, so... Uh, I'm also doing something called tierless, where things are randomized a lot more than they were before, so I can actually have in-game items and early treasure chests, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Gargalos, huh? The opposite of a juggalo. The only thing I know about Sea of Thieves is that boats can fly, apparently. See, they just dropped a Murasame for crying out loud. That's like, that's gotta be like an in-game weapon. So with any luck, maybe we'll become decently overpowered, and I won't have to do any grinding at all, but we'll still get our asses kicked from time to time. What do we got? Grab Bomb, Shiller. Curious what Schiller is. I've already got a pirate game like that. Black Wake just came out with a 3.0 update that added forts. Manned forts that you can assault and I think steal treasure from. They're currently patching and beta testing the hell out of it. Uh, Cecil Bot is in here, by the way. Moogle Charm times two! <laughs> Moogle Charm in this game does not stop random encounters, I'm just letting you know that. I looked it up, it is... not that cheap, so don't get excited. I don't know exactly how it works, but you will still get into into battles. And some of the later dungeons apparently are immune to Moogle Charms. Can't equip anything. Wait a second. <laughs> Why is his icon a soldier? It is Tella's sprite, I think, from Final Fantasy IV. We've got an old forgetful man piloting the mech. Don't you die on me. Got heal force, so that's a step up from the first run. They're all Magitek soldiers, yes. Maybe the old man actually wants to be a Magitek soldier. He's not... Despite the fact the game is gonna tell us that he had a slave crown on, this... This is just his job. He's willingly coming up here... ...to steal this Esper. Another Murasame, another Moogle Charm. These guys are dropping good stuff. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yesterday they were dropping leather hats. 
that I believe I actually could have used as an item to cast some worthless spell. Jagged? Jagged and Jugulet. It's General Tella to you, scumbags. So, he must have set out from the same town that Strago and Realm are from. Offering his magical abilities to the Empire. Another Murasama. If I get somebody who can throw... Those are going to be invaluable. According to the source, there's a frozen Esper up here. Let's go poke it with some sticks. Maybe throw a rock or two at it. I want to say that uh, enemies with this tier list mode can also get in-game and boss skills shuffled onto them even if they're low level. I think there's a lot of additional crazy stuff that is going to end up screwing us. And whoever asked about permadeath earlier, Metal Slime, no. <laughs> Before I do permadeath, I will probably try to beat this in at least a run. Either off-stream or on-stream. Is anybody ready for a 40-hour stream from beginning to end? Just so we can beat this game in one setting? I can die of a blood clot. The King of Figaro does not judge, dude. And with a beard like Tella's, do you... do you blame him? Are you telling me you don't want to stroke Tella's beard? Because I don't believe you. <laughs> how long I can get- how long it takes to get back to Vector? Let's see, last time it took- it took me what? I want to say it took... Eight hours to get to Vector, and then I ended up giving up and dying at nine hours, I'm pretty sure. We spent almost 30 or 40 minutes dying over and over and over to number 128. Uh, let's see, heal him, or toss Gil. <laughs> Fortunately for us, the Welk is broke. He has no gill to toss. Oh wow, I can use a Moogle Charm as an item. That is interesting. Okay. So I can still equip it and get the benefit of having fewer battles. Which is how it works. Or I can break it. With my luck, I won't be able to farm them anywhere else again. Uh, probably gonna go back into its shell, yep. Of course it is. You got a point, I could. I imagine what'll probably happen is I'll just use them in a boss fight and still brutally die anyways. I'm gonna- I'll, I'll get to the point with this where I probably don't feel guilty at all about saves coming. Because this is... This game is brutal. This randomizer is... sadistic. Will you hurry up and die? I'm scared to attack because if I'm terrified of what its secret ability might be. You know what? I'll launch a missile for better or worse. There we go. 61 health, that's all I have.
<laughs> once once I know a good place... Ooh, we got a Tempest. Once I know a good place to do time splits at, I'll start timing some of that stuff. We'll get an average time till we get to Kefka at Narish, then an average time till we get to Vector, then an average time till we get to the to the dinner or something like that. Fighting Cantos? Takes that long? Nah. Is that how long it takes to grind out a million skills or something? I bet you're getting a hundred percent in Rune Factory any of them. Takes longer than that. He is a nice color palette. Not nearly as drastic as yesterday. So far, none of the palette swaps have been as striking to the eye. I like that lightning, though. That was cool. I don't think it's usually that color. Suspended for sleeping on stream? It's kind of sad. So, let me see. I can't equip any relics, or at least the relics I have don't count as relics. No random enemy encounters. Uh, I think one of the next patches for the game, or at least... There's, there's something special they've got going on where they're changing some of these screens as well, so you can see what items do. Um, their effects will be highlighted better. They're trying to improve this screen from what I was reading. The Tempest is a, a wind attack. It doesn't surprise me. Okay. I'm not checking that clock, by the way. Where am I? <laughs> My head hurts. Am I... Where am I? Am I old? Am I a girl? I don't feel like a girl, but... I can't remember. Poor sad Tella. A mysterious young woman with a beard. Does she work for the Empire? Does she not work for the Empire? She can't remember. Uh, let's see. This is gonna be Dude. This is just Dude. What is he doing? Does he even care? My, my name is... is Dude. Impressive. Welcome back to reality, Dude. It's gonna bother me too, Grimoth, but maybe we can hold hands and persevere through through the torture. It's little things like that bother me. I agree. But I, 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 gotta, I gotta just put it in the back of my mind. It's like our beautiful opera yeti yesterday turning into Celeste for the opera. I just gotta shove it to the back of my mind. Find a way to justify it. Quit talking to me. Let me go, you repeated your dialogue like six times. The dude is on his quest for... For what? He can't go after his carpet. That wasn't stolen in this reality. Oh, sorry. Oh, not bad skills, tools, and throw, and item. That's... That's pretty awesome. Can I equip anything on you yet? No. I'm gonna be really sad if I can't equip the Moogle Charm <laughs> on anybody. I want me no encounters of very few. Metal Knuckle. Can you equip Knuckles? No. I think the way the Moogle Charm works now is it's based on a rising threat index. So the longer you walk around, the, m the more likely it is that you are to get into combat. But it still starts incredibly low. We all loved her, Decaf. She stole our hearts in ways that most of us don't even have the words to explain. 
An enhancer. What the heck is that? Magic power up. Can it, it can be used by the dude. 150 attack. Uh, that's pretty significant. Yes, please. We have Afunakas <laughs> and Rokuses. Okay. Who knew a single ribbon could do so much to clean a girl up? Hey, Grimmit. It was a master crafted ribbon, apparently. Golden Teller. The Golden God. It looks like a living statue. Oh, there's Kefka, okay. <laughs> it's Kef Kefka's a white mage, I think. Not very intimidating. With my magic, I can cure Alzheimer's. I can cure everything. There will be no disease out of my reach. What I can't cure, we will burn off the face of the earth. All Kefka wants to do is help you folks. Mad, mad medical doctor Kefka. He's working in the background. Undermining the Empire and everyone else. We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. Immortality is within our reach. Wait, is Celeste still Celeste? Is that a vanilla? Feels like she might have a dress on or something, I don't know. She looks a little bit different. I think General Leo's in the center. It would be hilarious if Celeste and General Leo were switched, though. That would be fitting. Who the heck is this? It took you long enough. Treasure Hunter and Trail Worn Traveler. Totally not a grave robbing mummy. KDS, you were not here last night, so you get one. Man who simply goes by the initials KDS. I prefer the term. I don't know what you were going to make you yet. Because I still don't know what you are. You almost look like Master Chief, I think? Like, is that supposed to be a Master Chief sprite? No, Decaffeine, I definitely thought he was a long-eared dog. And it bothered me forever, because I... He was the only one... ...in the entire game that was that race. That species. I always had questions. Was he an escaped Esper? Was he the first experiment? A mixture of man and beast. And then it turns out I was just not looking at his sprite correctly. Master Chief to the rescue. I almost thought it was like a Ninja Gaiden style sprite, but he's green. He can't be a ninja. Who's the Moogles? Who's gonna be the Moogles? Kupo? Kupopo? That's fitting too, I like that. It's a bunch of dirty imps! Impish bastards. Oh crap, I didn't want to say yes, I don't need more help. Save the, save them or else. I almost feel like I need to use KDS. 
use his group for everything. That way he gets good experience. That's what I'll do. We'll see how far we can push KDS's group here. I don't want to have to grind, obviously, so every chance I can get. You know, KDS... I shouldn't have used that yet, but you even look like an imp. GP rain, no, thank you. Even though I guess it really wouldn't matter. Steve Fire and Reg Grav? Uh, I'm curious what those are. Which one of these abilities is going to wipe the party? I don't even think we're going to have to worry about using special abilities, honestly. You take that back, Grimoth. You take that back. <laughs> that was one of the most fitting sprite swaps. I've added from the Discord something like 20 additional sprites, maybe 30 additional sprites. 392 damage? God dang, Kupek. Save some for everyone else. You got the most awesome abilities and you're probably packing a Ragnarok or something like that. KDS is a little limp in the wrist up there, only hitting for 50. Being put to shame by the imps. Obviously, not suited for combat. So what do you do if you're not a combat ninja? This is not a Forge Squad mechanical. The Ogre Nyx was broken, okay. Uh, let's see, I don't got any way to heal, so... Geronimo! We'll use some of those special abilities on this guy. Atronian Scops! Omrecker comes in! And stops Kupop's heart! With some horrible news. Uh, Steve Fire, regular gravity, I'm gonna guess, is what Red Grav means. Uh, the Cecil bot's in here, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that, but... Anyone's curious what abilities are or want to save me the hassle of looking them up? Just saying. Bitch slapped, healed, and then slapped again. So you broke your weapon, Kumama, just by using it in combat? Uh, let's do Red Grab. Half tempted to use a Moogle charm, but since it... Well, we'll throw a Mithril Knife. Since the Moogle Charms work on the party, it's probably something like Shell or Haste. We don't really need here. A Tortoise Shield and another Moogle Charm. So I think maybe if needed, we can come back to the Mines of Marsh and kill stuff around here. To farm all the Moogle Charms we want. Now I'm curious, though, how much they sell for. Could possibly have stumbled into a gold mine farming technique. Oh, the old buzzard awakes, do you? I can't remember anything. Not why I'm golden or where my beard came from. Why I'm even wearing these robes. By the way, old man, if you ever need to raid this town again, don't worry about going to the front door. 
You just, just bring your Empire buddies back through this secret entrance here. I'll never know that you were coming. Our first unrunnable. I almost want to, like, put a counter on my interface here, so every time we run into a new unrunnable, or just an unrunnable in general, we raise the counter. I'm estimating about a 25% chance. Indiana Jones. I'll fight him. Little Smurfs. Old people drink less water. He's a statue, so... I don't think living statues have to drink water. I don't know how you convince Cecilbot that that is a skill. <laughs> but maybe somebody can. Chocobos look pretty much the same as yesterday. Maybe not as neon-y. Oh god! Edgar's dead, dude! Edgar! Mate, you're a ghost! You mean this young woman? Why, I don't think she's a woman at all. How rude of me to turn my ghostly back. Hmm. Light? It's a fitting name. Look at that damn ghost face. That ghost face is terrifying. I've never actually seen one of the ghost faces before. Uh... Now that I'm not being terrified... Lucy? Lucifi? I would probably pronounce that wrong. Lucifer? You are going to get the ghost Edgar. The King Edgar! The dead king of the dead palace. It's a shame that everyone else in the castle isn't a ghost as well, because that would really fit in. I'm a skull. It's a skull. Am I the bad guy? I love that skit. Hello, butts. Good to see you again. Right now, we're watching a ghost hit on a living statue. What would the brother of a ghost look like? Now I'm curious. What do we got? A vault edge. I don't care. Um... I almost want to spend all of my money on tonics. After what I went through yesterday of not- I'll buy 99 tonics. After what we went through yesterday without being able to get a healer for basically the entire run, those are the only way I have to stay alive. Sleeping bags are freaking pricey. And I know I could get a discount with the king. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Why? I got complacent. <laughs> I completely just... I forgot. Oh, there's... Monsters in a box. What's that? It's totally not something I have to worry about early in the game, right? <laughs> Excuse us, let us through. We were already here, but we were kicked out of the castle by that horrible monster you keep in the item shop. Round two, and our, <laughs> our conversation with the king. Hey, you know what? At least I made it further tonight than I did last night before dying. 
What did I do last night? Die on my very first fight, I think? Or at least one of them? It was like the first or second fight, I just get knocked down. Okay. I am the Lich King. King of the Figaro Death Empire. The other empire, led by the healer, obviously wants to learn how to resurrect us. To bring us back to the living. But I'll be damned if I'll let that white mage healing bastard bring me back to life. I much to enjoy my ghostly corporeal form snooping around and floating through walls and a maiden's bedchambers. That is, uh... The king's reasoning for joining the Returners, if you didn't catch that. It's totally what was going on in the dialogue there. Um... I don't want to open either of those chests. That first one is tainted just by being next to it. Not at all interested. Get the cooties. I'm just standing too close. Excuse me, Matron. I need some backstory on... on the undead empire here. A ghost girl?! <laughs> it's a zombie ghost girl! She even looks like a rotten zombie. putrid empire this is. Are we on the good guy's side or did we join the bad guys this time? <laughs> this is gonna be Metal Slime Hunt. Hello Metal. You are the undead zombie girl. Yes. His name is Metal or her name is. Unfortunately she ran away. That's more fitting than, uh, Strago being there, since it's supposed to be a youth. Uh, Chancellor, what do you have to say for this place? The whole business of secession is so repugnant to metal, we fled the castle. Forever. Never to return. Oh, King Lucifer! Kefka's here to say hello. <laughs> oh, Lucifer, why do you have to live out in the middle of this wretched graveyard? <clears throat> Excuse me. The most evil white mage of all time. You idiots! So, you come to my land and you want to revive my people. You think you can bring me back from the dead, do you? Well, I'll be damned if I'll let you use a phoenix down or life or anything like that. Anywhere within the boundaries of my kingdom. Yeah, Kefka wants Tella back because he wants to heal, uh, he wants to heal the statue affliction. He's been stoned, but he's still alive. I'm gonna say that... I'm gonna say that our, uh, our Vought character is a freaking mummy. Is, are those mummy wraps that KDS is wearing? So we've got a ghost king, maybe a mummy ninja, and a living statue. And we're gonna have a zombie girl join us at some point down the road. Don't worry about a thing. Is it true that you're a mummy? <laughs> I 
I don't understand what I should do, KDS. I was born a statue. Do I really want to be a real bearded boy? Fire, the undead's main weakness. That fiend. He knew exactly what would catch my undead castle on fire. You scoundrel. If you can't heal us out, then you'll burn us out. Is that how it is? What the hell? He turned his back. Not only am I gonna hop on a chocobo, but I'm going to morph into one of your generals and then ride into your town and slaughter everyone. <laughs> I, I, I like how it switches. As if he turns back into ghost form so that his allies can see him coming and jump in time and then back to the... And then back to the Imperial. Keep up the disguise. Hello, Pain. <sighs> Guys, I told you, it's not stone, it's undead stone, it's flammable. This is the Undead Empire. It's a ghost castle, that's why it was burning. That was like its ectoplasm ghost flesh. It's a huge giant esper that they all ride on. A ghost esper. Go get them! We'll worry about their graveyard castle later. Keep up, keeping up with the shotgun Joneses. And even though I spent the night roly poly. And even though we slept, I still don't have MP recovered. What the hell? Hmm. Okay. I don't think that was. You know what? Sketch him. Let's see what that does. I don't. Oh, I've got. I've got an auto crossbow. When did I get that? Skill roly polies. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, Grimoth. been served, fool. Oh, come on. What did I use? A Murasame, really? I did not want to throw that, but okay. Have a Murasame to your face. Learned roulette. Got some leather armor out of the deal. A new dance. Not bad. You probably shouldn't, Blade. You'll just end up disappointed in the long run. <laughs> Boom! They just stepped on a spiced, uh, a spice mine. I don't know. Every time I see that little lump that they step on, I rem remember the uh, Dune game on the Sega Genesis. And losing a harvester because they decide to roll over it. Those sons of bitches. Uh, I went to their Discord ping, and they've got an entire section filled with files that have new sprites and a whole bunch of other really cool information, including secret flags and stuff that you can enable. Dude, it was really good. That game had great music. And I would say it was probably the first real RTS that I played. Unless you want to count General Chaos, which, uh... Squad-based tactical stuff, I don't think it particularly counts in the same way. <laughs> I 
I, thankfully, we, I don't think we'll have to worry about that again. It, it is kind of fucking with my head, too. Okay, everybody, I need you to equip the best stuff you can, which is apparently the stuff you already had on, so... We're in the clear there. You, you guys know I didn't want to equip the Moogle charm anyways. King Lucifer, where are you headed? We've got to go to the southern graveyards and warn the undead. The healers are coming. Those worthless do-gooders. Lumps, wow. That's spooky. We got Magitech coal miners in here. <laughs> totally not laughing over that name. You saw nothing. My sense of humor is far more refined than that. And a monster in a box. Okay. Add a gin tint. We're totally going to die here. Yes. Back to hell with you, Ghost King. Oh, man. We don't even do any damage. Roulette. Okay, fine. KDS just uses roulette and kills himself, I think. Fuck this, I'm gonna take the easy way out. I'm not gonna die to this thing, are you serious? Um, you know what, let's find out what the Moogle charm does. I did look up what it was and I couldn't find out exactly, but it was like either a mithril knife, a mithril shield, or an either. <laughs> so ultimately I'm glad that I didn't waste time trying to brute force it any more than I did. Uh, thankfully with this randomizer, with the tier list turned on, it really could be anything. It could be something really good. I don't think it had the chance yesterday to even be a good item. Because of the randomization level that I was using. Death count too, yes. I'm pretty sure that is two. Keep the count going for me. When we get to 100, I delete my stream. Oh no, we've used a recovery stream to heal. Our powers of death have been weakened. Can't run away from these things, is that right? I'm pleased with this though, every one of these characters has useful abilities. I'm not being screwed over like I was yesterday, where everybody had random abilities. Ooh, a light robe. <laughs> That's some pretty good armor right there. I'm gonna be really happy if we get decked out super early. Can't run away, okay. It's gotta be those little techno tumbleweeds. Monsters in the box love me. The very first thing that I checked in the stream yesterday was the grandfather clock in Arvis's house, and it had a monster in the clock just waiting for me. Another light robe. KDS, you can't wear it. The dude can. Puts his light robe on. Puts his light robe and wizard hat on. I wonder what else they can stick monsters into. Received Gaia gear. Surely KDS can wear that. Yep. And even though I can't check the stats because it's equipped in the base game, Gaia gear cuts like all elemental attacks in half. I'm pretty sure. Shimsham is demi, more or less. Just air aspected or wind aspected. Okay, and that wasn't too bad. There's some chests in there. I think there's one or two I forgot to go get, but let's be realistic. It would just be something waiting to kill me. The bird decides to get frisky with us.
Did the dude just get hit with Frisky and get... What is that? Illusion? Or Blink? Used on him? Is that a friendly attack from that enemy? I well, think you, kind bird. Okay. How much gold do I have? Before we go into town, I've only got 4,000 gold. I'm gonna get into another fight or two. Get our gold up to 5,000. I think this is the first town that actually has a relic shop as well. Those friskies are my new best friends. This is much better than what I was running into yesterday. This feels like a walk in the park. Cat Meteor? Okay. I was scared for half a second just because it had Meteor in the title. A heal Rod. Probably doesn't cast heal when we use it, so don't get excited. In fact, I don't think I can tell yet. Covers target's hit point. It does not actually do that. I believe that in one of the updates that they're going to be releasing soon, that information will actually be there. Oh, wow. There's General Leo. What's up, Leo? Wait, come back. Leo the Mercenary. <laughs> Equip relics to gain a variety of abilities. These double my walking speed and allow me to teleport. And it also allows me to morph into a dress. Relics give our party members a variety of stuff. That won't do anything that this menu says here. Don't believe the lies. Fairy Ring Mithril Glove. Cast safe, no. Star Pendant. You know, I've got somebody who can use tools, so I might as well buy that. I was hoping for more interesting relics, like maybe a wall ring. Don't know what you're talking about, Decaffeine. Don't know what you're talking about. Ness wouldn't be in this game, that's Earthbound. At the very least, you could give me a response, Mr. High and Tight. Dog owes allegiance to no one. Okay, this is gonna be Grimoth. He did not get one yesterday. Hmm. I think we'll just go with Grim. That's Grim. He'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel. You're not going to betray us this time, Grimoth. We're even going to trust you the same as we did before. You're totally not going to leave us as soon as we get to Zozo. I'm willing to believe. I'm willing to risk it all. I'm willing to risk ten minutes of running back and swapping out party members. But no more. Definitely not eleven minutes. Tonics... Probably buy even more of those. Phoenix Downs are actually really cheap. Okay. Might as well get five. Antidotes. Definitely need some of those. Softs. Tents. Tents are pretty cheap, too. Hmm. So. If I wanted to sell, say, a Moogle Charm. Oh, they only go for one. I guess that makes sense. It's all they go for in the base game. Kung Fu Suits. Tortoise shield. Question if he cooked well an imp. Okay. A heal rod only goes for one. None. Ooh, Tempest. 5,000. Or a Same. 5,000. Eh, I don't think I need any of this. Maybe if I could find some decent armor. Or a decent relic. Like, ideally what I really want is running shoes or a wall ring. I'm gonna save those Murasams... Murasamis... ...for throwing... ...at bosses... ...that try to block me in and end the stream. 
Oh, that's spooky looking. I'm probably going to do a bit of grinding here. I honestly want to get my hit points up to at least 150 before we go into Mount Alts right there. What did we even get from him? I think I got another tortoise shield from that guy. It's two. So what I need is an imp halberd and then the ability to turn people into imps. And we'll just have a whole party of, uh, of imps. Forget humans, forget moogles, forget ghosts. It's his favorite tea and his dishes. And the favorite flowers. Wait a second. If it walks like a duck and smells like a duck and drinks tea like a duck, it's, it's gotta be that metal slime guy. You haven't seen any zombies around here, have you? As a matter of fact, I did. There was a zombie heading over to the mountains. You know, actually, I guess maybe everyone's hit points are okay. It would just really suck to get to Vargas and have to, uh... Have to backtrack all the way back here. I'm gonna get another level or two. <laughs> no, I don't want to make a backup save. If I make a backup save, then I... Then I'm committed. Like, then I can't get trapped. The whole point is, how far can I go hitting each save point as we get there until I get stonewalled? Bannon's probably gonna do... absolutely nothing this, this one. I did. I'm curious how f I didn't even bother to look, but I'm pretty sure that backup save that I had was still like three or four hours back. I'm not entirely sure when I made it, but I knew for a fact I didn't want to do all that again. That would be horrible. Pincer attacked by some Arsleys. <laughs> out of here. We're, we're gonna play with the mode where it deletes your save when you die. Permanent Iron Man mode. It doesn't have battery backup. The battery is disabled. You cannot save your game. Four softs from that one fight. That was worth it. I am really liking the drop rate uh, the enemies have with these options. Permanent Iron Man for this. In the Discord, they're still trying to find out ways to come up with, like, a Nuzlocke challenge for this. Permadeath, where if a character dies, they have to stay dead. We kind of discussed this at some points in the stream last night, but... It would be difficult for many reasons, but they're still trying to figure out a way to do it. I still think the experience loss route would be pretty good. Lucif, you seem to be gaining levels quicker, but... It could just be my imagination. I like this fight right here. Like, all of the fights I've had so far are so much more enjoyable than the stuff I was slogging through last night. These cute little frog things, frog squirrels, I don't know what they are. They, be they gently caress us with their frog toes. Did you start off with a level advantage? I guess that would make sense. Mm, 
let's see. I'm gonna kill all four of you, then we're gonna go heal, and then we're gonna try to fight our way up the mountain. I think this is pretty good. They haven't ran into anything too tough yet, and I really don't want to waste a bunch of time grinding in areas I don't need to, because, in, again, in games like this, the experience just increases the further ahead you go, so why grind before you absolutely have to? How many past lives do you have, Lucifer? We have to know before we can judge if that experience is worth anything. Mount Cults. And also I thought... I would, I would laugh if I was playing with the wrong ROM, but I could have sworn that I had flags enabled. That gave everyone lowercase names. Ten lives is pretty good. That's more lives than a cat has by default, so... At least you're not at the bottom of the food chain there. Then we're all trash lives. I think those are more common than people... <laughs> than people would like to say. Budge? Uh, no. Not willing to fight the Empire. The, the healers have these helicopters flying around the mountains looking for us right now. I'm not interested in dealing with them. Well, let's see. You know what? I am curious what's in the treasure chest, though. Oh, did it really give dragon boots? I didn't even look. I'll have to check. I'm glad some of you pay attention to the stuff I'm looting because I pretty much just read chat and run my mouth. Oh, cool. Dragon boots. Changes fight into jump. But I still can't equip any relics. So I'm wondering if I just can't equip relics for this run or if the relics that I've got are simply usable as items. I mean, if they're gonna drop regularly, I'm fine with them being used as items. Silk robe. You take your bets and you shove them. There's no monster in the boxes here. They save that shit for the end of dungeons. You know what? Fight them. Let's take them down. Why not? I've got plenty of tonics and I'm curious what these things drop. Maybe only certain people can use those? Maybe. I mean, pe what people can use and things like that is randomized, but I'm still really surprised that no one in this party could use Dragon Boots or a Moogle Charm. I'm not entirely sure how many items get randomized into uh, being used as magic casting items, but it's possible that's all I'm running into. Don't you die on me, dude. Like, see, so far we haven't ran into anything that really has unleashed magic hell on us. And I feel like at this point already we had met people who, like, have flair and stuff. We're casting big AoE attacks on me. Ashtar's okay, I'll kill him. So little hit points. They look scary, but they're really just big cuddly dinosaurs. I want their belly rubbed. Ten hit, ten experience. Get out of here. A gem box? Really? Okay, gem box changes magic into X magic. It can be used by KDS and Lucif. None of them can actually use magic yet, but okay. 
Getting that this early? Uh, hell yeah. That's what the Magic Tower's original item that you could get. Run for your life, dude! I'm not gonna equip that on anybody until probably we get to Narsh. Either that or the first person who can actually cast a spell. <laughs> Metal, come back! Jumping around over there. It might give us... Jake W's? What do you mean, pincer attack? There's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing on the other side. It's a spooky. Mastered a new dance. Okay. I should probably heal up and quit putting that off. That was the weirdest pincer attack I've ever been in. They had us cornered on the cliff there. I don't know if I would consider it a pincer attack. Okay, here's choke point number one. Depending on how... Oh, that's right, I can't run from these things. Depending on how difficult this fight goes the first couple of times, provided we don't one-shot it, will determine exactly what I'm doing with the rest of this seed. I would be incredibly tempted... Don't put my ghost to sleep. Like, I would be, I would be tempted to re-roll if... If it looked like we were unable to get past this. I'm not gonna throw myself against certain death for or more than an hour. <laughs> That's about how much time I gave it last night at the end, right? That's my limit. Hello, Amesworth. Are you flying tonight? Hurry up and die, you humble weeds. Another light robe. I'm gonna have to see if I can use those in combat as an item. Wait, Vargas! Come back. I'm surprised he's not shuffled. I'm pretty sure he can be. Uh, you know, I've got auto crossbow. Why am I not using this stuff? Why am I just holding A to win? Oh, that's so much more effective. Poison frog. Like that, wow. Sometimes I do make things much harder <laughs> than they have to be. Lump and a Ghibli bulge, no. A lumpy bulge. Sent by the Empire. Could you not tech laser the Ghost King in the face? Thank you very much. I've finally seen his face and... Yeah. Okay, so that does give magic block. We beat Vargas. We still have to get down the river. Okay. You get that. Metal sent you, right? Trying to turn me into an undead as well? Little zombie girl hunting me down? Already ate the brains of my father and now wants to eat mine? Well, you'll have to kill me first. Ah, uh, that relic works. The other ones are just items. They don't actually count as relics, apparently. I can only use them in combat. Which I'm not going to do until I absolutely have to. Which Gale Cut might make me do. No, maybe. I 
<laughs> a thousand damage? I wasn't expecting that. I was gonna haste myself and then tear these things apart. The unfortunate thing is that means that, that thing, that bear, has that attack just waiting to be used. Pretty sure. 27 damage? Disappoint me. Okay, we get to see how useful Metal Slime is gonna be. Can you save the day here, or are you going to wipe us over and over with a horrible skill set that we are unable to do anything with? Enough of your lies. I know you ate his brain. You've still got the brain on your lips. Zombie Girl versus Vargas. Ant Scar? Oh my goodness, what did you hit me with? Ant Lion? Really? That's what that ability does? Scar Beam. That's terrifying. Killed him for 112. Come on! What's the matter, Zombie Girl? Are you resorting to heals as well now? Okay. I've got to go just punchy punch punch. I've got an ability that is an insta-death, followed by an enemy heal, I'm pretty sure, and then control, which is basically just sketch. Come on, Metal. Hang in there. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so I did waste a turn in the beginning, figuring out what that move did. There's, there's the third death. <laughs> huh. Only has like, I'm pretty sure he only has like 200 hit points, so... This fight is not impossible. She does pretty good damage with that little dagger. Oh, come on. I'm in go mode now, no bleaks. Quit slowing me down. <laughs> yeah, last night all the skills we had were worthless. Two people had skills that basically killed them. Everyone else had random abilities. That weren't even that good. Like, I don't mind a random elemental ability if every, basically every spell can be a damage spell. But when you've got 16 spells in the attack pool and only 4 are capable of doing damage... Forget that. <laughs> Take those characters out back and re-roll them. Get them out of here. Get them out of my ROM. Get them out of my seed. You're not welcome. Come back, Vargas. It's time for round two. I'm still kind of disappointed that I never used W. Merton to kill the whole party. Outside of that first use, I, I did never really test it again. No, and if I don't gotta fight you, I'm not going to. Don't do it! Don't you do it! I'm not allowed to kill my team. Move it! Dude! You slow old man. What is that? Am I being an Aegist now? Being mean to the old man, Tello. Ah, oh, crap. For some reason, I thought I had full MP on him. And I was excited that I was going to be able to clean sweep through here, so... 
Are you gonna one shot? No, you're gonna use that one. I'm gonna use haste just to get through this. Aced Aga. Gotta love it. I'm curious if I should open up the next fight with metal. Uh, with one of those hastes. That would lose me one turn, but at the same time... I would be able to get multiple attacks in and use a tonic if I needed to. I think that's what I'll do. You're not, you're not feeling like painting tonight? Did you get all the creativity knocked out of you earlier? Enough of this! What a good series that was. Taste my blizzard fist! Guaranteed to stop any cold-blooded undead in their tracks. Zing Giga! I don't know what that does, I'm curious. No! Oh, that's right, she can't use items, okay. All I can do is throw out stabby stabs here and hope that we hit his Achilles heel. Metal, come on, bite him in the calf. Drop him to the ground so you can latch onto his brain. I don't care for double attacks that he gets either. You can do it, Metal, one more! Put some back into it! Use your entire zombie might! Do it for all the undead! No! You have let everyone down! Oh, you s <laughs> You can do it! Why does he have so many hit points this time? Do it again, Metal! He's taunting you! Teach him a lesson! God damn it! <laughs> okay, so that was round two. Hmm. No, he doesn't have a thousand hit points. They nerfed it for situations like this. The question is... Like, I'm curious if I was a higher level. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this just a bit of grinding here. If I'm a higher level whenever I meet Metal down there, will her levels be boosted up? Maybe I can't get into fights in this room. Sounds reasonable. Is Metal's level not gonna be boosted up if I gain another level or two? Because I think that's all we would need is another level or so. I don't know how... I mean, I do know that this game... I think it does something like that. There was a bug where if somebody joins your party at a higher level than when they learn a spell, with one of the randomization features on, then they will never learn that ability. So I'm wondering if... if people get level bumped whenever they join you. Control Vargas? Oh my god, I doubt it. I don't think that uh, enemy bit gets shuffled on or off, unfortunately. That would be neat. <laughs> Maybe I can just run away, yeah. Uh... We don't need Vargas's brain, you can keep it. We're just going to sneak past you. We're sorry for the loss of your father. Metal totally didn't mean to eat his brains out. These things aren't too bad to fight anyways, so... Uh, 
Oh, uh, she doesn't even have the item option, so I can't, like, change her gear. Like, what if I could put a better sword on her, a Murasame or something? Well, you did good, Metal Slime, I gotta say. Zuka Zuka. Interesting. You've done good, Judas. The whole stream is ruined now because of you. I'm gonna have to just... I'm going... I'm just gonna end it and go to bed. Screw this. I'm done. Done with you, Metal Slime. Don't kill the dude! Have a taste of your own medicine. How close am I to even leveling up anyways? 13, 143, okay. Don't ride it yet. We can do this, we can do it. What if I just have to spend three hours trying to get like two critical hits in a row? You want me to do that? You want me to man mode down and just Say, I'm gonna do this no matter how long it takes, no matter how lucky I have to get. Until everyone leaves my stream because they're so frustrated. <laughs> Plomp, you died there 200 times by now. Just go. Reroll the seed. Okay. We'll do one more. The Ghost King gained a level there. I would like... Okay, KDS and the dude should gain one with one more kill, I think. I'll learn how to do something tool-assisted if I have to, Metal Slime. I'll break out the memory editor. I'll, t I'll put the game genie on, damn it. We'll cheat and brute force our way through that fight. The dude gained a level. Come on, KDS. Siphon the enemy's strength. Gain that nourishment. Also, I'm a little bit dismayed at this that nobody has been able to confirm whether or not this will even help. <laughs> Normally somebody would know, that, yeah, just gain a couple levels. The next character that joins you will be level boosted a little bit. That's how I know I'm pulling stuff out of my ass when no one in chat can back it up. Lucif, don't die. There we go. KDS gained a level. Okay. So... Yeah. It is something like 97 flags. It's, it's all the flags. I don't believe you, Blade. It's too late now. The later games are rubbish, as we all know. Pretty sure it doesn't work like that. I could sacrifice somebody in chat to RNG Jesus, if you want Metal Slime. I could try and gain his favor by offering a cult sacrifice. Or maybe to Haster. Try to get his will all up in this chat. You know. <laughs> You can't nominate people, Lucifer. That's, that's not how it works. Karma will come back and nominate you instead. 
a dangerous game. When you start nominating people to be voted off the island. I was aiming at Metal Slime. I was going to take him out. He was in the crosshairs. This is his fault anyways. I was trying to build that up. You're, you're in the danger zone, Metal. And if we need to, we know who to blame for this. Doggo559. I don't remember that passage. I should study it, probably. No, I'm not sure I believe that passage anyways. Did Lucif just get raged? Is that what that is? Either raged or charmed, I can't tell. Mute? When the hell did you learn mute? Are you keeping tricks hidden from us? Do you have some skills or abilities that you want to tell us about while we're here? Or are you using some of my items? <laughs> That's probably what's happening. Ultra Shift! <laughs> that would be awesome if it was an instant death that actually hit Vargas and we could just bypass this. You're doing a pretty good job of channeling it. Round three. Can metal pull through? All we can do is mash fight to win. I'm not even gonna think about it, just... Just mash A. Zing Giga! <laughs> I still don't know what it does. 80 damage. That's a little bit more than last time, wasn't it? Weren't we only doing low 70s? I think that this is the way to do it. If I have to gain more levels, I will. 228 hit points. So that's like 20 more than last time, I want to say. Come on, Metal. Don't make us go farm more souls to power you up. We're so tired of the killing and the bloodshed. Can't keep the dream alive with that shit. 101 damage? Come on, Vargas. Gale cut? What are you, vanilla flavored? Isn't that one of your original attacks? <laughs> exact damage. Ugh. You're breaking my balls, Vargi. You know, me and you, Vargas, we go back like 25 years at this point. Do you think just maybe you could get off them? For 20 seconds, that's all I'm asking. Just a little bit of relief, 20 seconds. And then we'd be golden. So, one more level for everybody is pretty much what we should need. If, I, if we die one more time, I am going to actually open up the WordPad file and check how many hit points Vargas has to see if this is even in the realm of possibility. Because all of that information is outputted into a WordPad file when the randomizer is generated. Maybe they do it just so you know for sure. Just so you can tell for sure whether or not you should continue in your endeavors or not. No, no, you should definitely give up if you get here. Vargas has 6,000 hit points. I actually... It, I have this love-hate relationship with grinding. Like, I don't... Hate it, hate it. Like, this grinding right here doesn't bother me. For now. 
If this level isn't enough, then I will definitely start to get a little bit irritated. For now, it's kind of interesting to me. Just how close to the edge can we push it and still beat the boss fight without it being completely dependent on luck? Like, if, uh, if Metal had bothered to, you know, get a lucky critical hit at all in any of those swings that we've done so far, that could have been the deciding factor. That's all, that's just luck based right there. You know what you're gonna develop into? You're gonna develop into a drink server on the airship when we get it. That's where you're gonna stay. You're gonna serve drinks to the rest of the people who, who actually go out and fight the Empire. We want our drinks cold. We better not be too watered down. And don't put your thumb on the lip of the cup. I'm gonna kick you off this Blackjack ship. You can go back to eating brains in the mountains. No, if the game wants to punish me from running away, it will make an entire area filled with unrunnable fights like the Phantom Forest was yesterday. That's when the game wants to punish you. Here you go, the Phantom Forest and the Phantom Train. You can't run from a single fight. Have fun. A 30-minute area turns into a two-hour slog. Metal, almost everyone is already dead, I'm pretty sure. KDS is a freaking mummy. I, I I still can't tell if he's supposed to be in green Master Chief armor or not, but it almost looks like green mummy wraps to me. The dude is a monster. Pretty sure he's a statue, a living gold statue. Interesting. Again, I'm pretty sure this was pointed out earlier. I think we're the bad guys here. There's a white mage trying to heal people around the world and we're fighting them. They tried to burn down our demonic, evil, undead castle. And we're unsuccessful because we pulled our zombie castle under the graveyard and to the other side of the mountains. Are you telling me a living castle? Like, a good people's castle could do that? No, it's totally a zombie castle. Being pulled through the catacombs and the crypts underneath the desert there. Who knows what vile and dark magics set that up. I mean, do you guys really believe that a castle could survive in desert? They don't have water, they don't have food! And, um, uh, in both of the locations, they're surrounded by miles and miles of desert. I would assume that people who wander through the desert, you know, see it as a, as a mirage in the distance, and they go there and they get turned undead too. Exactly, Kefka's the good guy in this one. Totally how it's working. I mean, seriously guys, are any of our characters normal so far? Am I wrong in this? Dude gained a level. How close is everyone else? 47 and 177. This is why you stock up on tonics. The Empire is the good people. So you think whenever they're going into the land of the Espers, are they actually opening up the gates to the undead land? You know, on the other side of the Phantom Train? 
Are they trying to reach the other side so they can bring the dead back? They just want to bring their loved ones back, folks. That's it. Kefka lost, lost his mommy at a young age. He became a white mage so he could try to save her. That fight just does not give enough experience. A back attack! Now this is where we die, right? I, I don't... Do back attacks in this game do more damage? Or are they just more of an annoyance? Obviously I don't have Rose set up right now. So I don't have anybody in the front or the back. Okay, it definitely flips us. I, I see. That was pitiful damage. I answered my own question. Probably before you guys with the latency even heard me start to ask it. KDS gained a level. A muscle belt, you don't say. That's a good drop. This is another reason why I like randomizers. Normally this stuff, normally I wouldn't farm item drops or anything in these games, but that's not bad at all. Changes... Wait, raises hit points by half. If only we could give that to Zombie Girl. Okay. We can muscle belt. We'll give... We give Lucif the King everything, why not? Look at those hit points. 349. Is everybody level 10? No. One more for the dude. Since he wants to lag behind. He can't help it. I think I can sell that belt for a lot of gold, too, if I wanted to. I'm pretty sure in the base game it was actually worth something. Dude, 452, you can get out of here. This should be good enough. Okay. One more try. I'm still not going to call it just yet. Like I say, one more try if we die... If we die, I'm going to check Vargas' health in the file and take a quick break. I am now out of tea, which is entirely unacceptable. Run for it, gang. We've got a rematch to see. Vargas the Green Goblin versus... Little baby metal slime. The undead brain-eating zombie. What is this gonna be? Match? Rematch number four? I think the third one was whenever we had leveled up the first time to test it out. Don't make me get to rematch number five game. I'd like to be able to count all of my failures in this fight on one hand. Not that I'm missing a finger or anything like that. Hang in there, dude. You die. <laughs> I've got a phoenix down, but I'd rather not use it. After this, uh, I think the only shop left is the returner's place, and there's no telling if they'll actually sell anything useful. You're not trained in tornado tag, apparently. 
You're a solo exhibitionist. <laughs> Marcus's toll road. You gotta pay the troll toll. If you wanna get in Vargas's hole. Really, you're gonna bust out that move? A floating, pissed off, possessed ghost king. I would run if I was you, Vargas. You have no idea what you have awoken. Are you sure, Lucifer? Look at those abs. Give it up, Vargas. Nobody wants to get into your hole. How dare you guard it? And then this is Vargas' special patented high-pressure fart attack that blows away everybody except Metal, who is heavy enough to withstand the attack. 256 hit points. Okay. Metal, you can do this. Uh, I can't actually target and hurt Vargas with the Pooh Bears alive. I have to kill them before I can even uh, hit them at all, unfortunately. Those clever bastards thought of that. I think we've got this, come on. One more hit. You'll be the pride of everybody in the stream, Metal. Oh, now you're breaking out Gale Cut. I see how it is. Is that always on the same turn number? 93 damage. Provided he doesn't get a double hit coming up. Damn it. Was so oh, come on. That oh, he got a double attack there. Come on. <sighs> okay. Let me check his health here. See if this is even worth doing. I hate peeking behind the scenes and breaking the fourth wall like this. But, I don't want to throw myself against a boss I'm not going to be able to beat. Vargas, level 12. Oh my god. Are you joking me? <laughs> He's got a thousand hit points. So I have to do like 13, I have to get 13 turns against him. 1,043 hit points. He's vulnerable to <laughs> protect, regen, and stop. Even though that doesn't do me any good. He has Zing Giga and Gale Cut. I cannot control him, I don't think. Can steal a partisan, a kung fu suit, and he drops a wind edge and a wing edge. Um, okay. I'm gonna real quick run down there and try one more thing. It says if you sketch him, you can do Zing Giga or Gale Cut. And you can use his special moves against him. Uh, I'm curious how much Gale Cut would actually do to him because he is weak against wind. So if I could Gale Cut him and he's weak and it does a shit ton of damage... Because control is just sketch with the ability to control them, isn't it? Or am I confusing that with something else? Like, I could have swore you needed, like, the fake mustache on Realm and then 
Sketch turns into control. Can't do it, Mechanical. I can't target him as long as those bears are alive. The only... Yeah, I, just, I can't hurt him. So, like, I've got a chance to get maybe one attack in after the bears are dead before he goes, Enough! But even then, I don't know if it would actually transfer over. I'm going to assume that the randomizer gave me a way out here, and... Seriously, if control works, I will be... I'll be happy. I'll be thrilled. Because that's the randomizer actually doing something good. It seems like it would be doing something bad. Like, who would think to use control? Well, that's why it's a randomizer, because you... You gotta think outside your, bar your barriers that you've built up over 20 years of playing this game. This fight would be easy with the use of items. I would haste myself, use a bunch of other stuff. It would be a good day. Don't miss your sketching, come on. You have one useful ability here. You're gonna make the dude mad because you don't like his hunting bow. Bear season! It's rabbit season. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame. Damn, the dude gets really red when he's angry. I'm shocked that I am actually healing here. And I'm blaming the king for it. You missed your sketch. That was the sketch that's supposed to save the day. <laughs> he's, yeah... He's a hardcore alcoholic. There's 69 damage, quick! I work in a liquor store. I see red dudes like that all day. 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning coming in with... Looking like they've been in the sun all day. <laughs> Shaking and red. Okay, control's the only option we've got. And we've got a couple turns. What have we got? Four or five turns that we can survive? Before getting pummeled into the ground. Make it count, Metal, because if you can't do this, then I'm gonna re-roll the seed. It's only 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, control. Okay. Miss. Can't control. So, control does not work like sketch. This is, this is pointless, then. <laughs> this is totally hopeless. Busting out those double hits against us. It's the last stand of metal, everyone. Ant Scar. The fun times we had with Effie, oh yes. Effie will definitely be returning at some point. By bleeding to death in their stomach? Sounds about right. I know that they have a chance for their esophagus to collapse too, which is pretty damn terrifying. Yeah, I would probably need to, to grind another five levels, honestly, and it's just not worth it here. So... For those of you who want to stick around, I am actually going to re-roll the, re the game. I'm going to keep streaming at night, and I'm going to keep playing Beyond Chaos, but I'm going to take probably another... I'm going to take like a 10-minute break. Let's see, it's 1.49 right now. I will most likely return at 2 o'clock in the morning, so the top of the hour. I'll have a new seed generated with fresh flags, and we'll try again. Vargas is generally a pretty good roadblock for everyone, so don't be surprised by this. It is shit that is going to happen time and time again. I'll see you guys in about 10.